responsible serving. Notify a manager right away if a guest shows signs of possible intoxication. Do not serve alcohol to guests that are showing signs of intoxication. When in doubt, ask your manager. Check for valid ID. Card anyone who looks under 30. Acceptable forms of identification. Current driver's license. No expired license. Military ID. Um, for military IDs, the date of birth is going to be on the back side. Passport and a state-issued ID. Pay attention to the signs of possible in intoxication. Slurred speech, heavy eyes, loud, obnoxious, aggressive behavior, picking fights, sudden mood swings, spilling drinks, and overly friendly. So these are this, uh, some of the margaritas that we sell. We have our house margarita, our house frozen margarita. Um, you can upsell kickers, Patron 1800 or Margarita uh, Ville Gold. Our coconut margarita, frozen only. Hurricane margarita, rocks or frozen. Jamaican cowboy, um, frozen or rocks only. Peach margarita, frozen only. Raspberry, frozen only. Razzle snake, uh, rock, frozen or rocks. Roadhouse Roadie, frozen or rocks. Sangria Margarita, rocks or frozen. Skinny Lime, frozen or rocks. Strawberry Margarita, frozen. Strawberry Banana Margarita, rocks or frozen. Watermelon Margarita, rocks or frozen. So those are the kinds of or flavors of margaritas they can um, get. Our speci uh, specialty drinks is the Armadillo Punch. That one has Malibu orange juice, pineapple juice, and cranberry juice. Cactus juice, peach tree schnapps, blueberry caraco, uh, and Texas Roadhouse Sweet and Sour and Sprite. Cowgirl Quencher, Malibu peach schnapps, pineapple juice, orange juice, and grenadine. Iggy's peach tea and Iggy's raspberry iced tea. I'm going to sweet and unsweet iced tea, sweet and sour. Sweet tea, vodka, and then whatever if they want raspberry or peach, it just kind of depends. Kenny's Cooler, coconut rum, peach schnapps, blueberry, curacao or curacao, whatever you want to say. Uh, Texas Roadhouse, sweet and sour and Minute Maid lemonade. Sangria has red wine, orange juice. Texas Roadhouse, sweet and sour, grenadine, triple sec. Uh, peach puree, brandy, and Sprite. Texas tea has tequila, gin, uh, rum, Triple sec, sweet and sour, and Coke. Texas Peach Fuzz has absolute peach tree schnapps, uh, orange juice, and cranberry juice. And then the top shell Texas tea has Margaritaville Gold Tequila, Tangray, which is gin, Bacardi, uh, Juarez, triple sec, Texas Roadhouse, sweet and sour, and Coke. Um, we do not offer virgin margaritas or um, pina coladas. That has changed since this. And then um, we have different bottled beers and drafts beers, so I would just get with your bartender um, to see which ones we offer. Sometimes they're seasonal, so they will change. Um, and then wines, we have Cabernet, Merlot, and Pinot Noir for our red wines. Chardonnay and Pinot Grigio for our white wines, and White Zinfandel for our blush wine. Responsible alcohol service. So your main responsibilities are to only serve alcohol to guests who are 21 or older, and not serve alcohol to guests who are under the age of 21, are buying for someone under age, are buying alcoholic beverages to take out to uh, take out of the restaurant, and appears to be exhibiting signs of intoxication. Okay. So, although in the state of Wisconsin, minors who are accompanied by a parent or a spouse that is of age can have alcohol. It is up to the establishment to decide whether or not um, we are going to allow that. So as Texas Roadhouse, we do not allow anyone who is under the age of 21 to drink or consume alcohol. So if um, that becomes an issue, please just notify a manager. Um, at first, you're going to inform them if an underager doesn't have their ID or their parent is like, well, I'm their parent. 
Um, we aren't allowed to serve them alcohol, and if they are upset about it, please just let a manager know. Bar glassware. So there's different kinds of um, glassware that we have at Texas Roadhouse. This is our 22 ounce Duke size beer. So it's 22 ounces and we call it a Duke class. That is what our draft beer can go into. We have 18 ounce schooner. This is what our margaritas, Kenny coolers, and sangria goes into. So it's 18 ounces and it looks like this. Pint glasses, this is what our draft beer, our mixed drinks, and our Long Islands go into. So this is our pint glass, it's pints are 16. Um, our Poco Grande glass, um, this is like our fancy glass. It has the armadillo punch, Texas peach fuds, daiquiris, and pina coladas can go into those glasses. Our martini glasses, those are for martinis, and then our rocks glasses for mixed drinks and shots. So this is what we would consider a tall, and this is what we would consider a small. A good way to upsell is to ask if they would like a double tall versus a single small. Um, so if somebody says they want a rum and coke, a good upsell would be like, okay, did you want to make that a double tall or a single small? Um, it's a $2 upcharge to get um, a double tall. Winecraft, Texas size wine pours, and then our 9 ounce wine glasses. So if somebody gets a glass of wine, it's a good idea to upsell them to get the wine craft in addition to that. So it's just um, a little bit more wine to give to them. And then these are our jiggers. This is what we use to measure out everything. We have a bigger jigger that's one and a quarter and three fourths. So if we pour some on this side and this side, it's going to be two ounces uh, for the drinks that we are doing double talls for. If it's a single small, it's just the one and a quarter. So a single pour is one and a quarter. Roadhouse doubles are two or we can do two of the one ounce side and then this is the half ounce side. Five questions to ask if somebody gets a margarita. May I see your ID? We card anyone that looks under 30. What flavor would you like? Um, would you like it on the rocks or frozen? Salt and sugar or sugar on the rim? And then if they'd like a kicker. So there's three options for kickers. Um, so you always want to ask if they want a kicker uh, with their margarita. So those are the five questions you need to ask if somebody gets a margarita. And again, this is what our armadillo punch is going to look like. Our Kenny coolers, they can get an island kicker um, with that, so it's just an extra kicker um, of alcohol. Um, our Southern Whiskey Lit, so Lit stands for Long Island Iced Tea, goes in the pint glass. Sangria is going to go into the schooner, the 18 ounce schooner or we just call them margarita glasses. Um, and then the Texas Peach Fuzz is going in the Poco Grande. So if we scroll down here, we can kind of go over to the answers to your bar test. Um, so we card everyone who looks under the age of 30. What are formable, uh, what are acceptable forms of ID? So license, passport, state issued ID, and a military ID. What information do you look for when checking an ID? The expiration date, obviously you want to make sure the photo is accurate, the birth ID, and the condition of the ID. So all of those. What are signs, visible signs of intoxication? Laughing and having fun with friends? No. Slurred speech and mood swings? Yes. Ordering more than one drink? No. Ordering a drink that is not on our menu? No. So obviously the answer is going to be slurred speech and mood swings. What is SIR? Okay, so SIR stands for size, interview, and rate. It's what we're using to determine if somebody is a lot, you know, capable of having more than uh, one drink or the next drink. Um, so the size of a person can determine um, how much they're, you know, usually bigger people are able to drink a little bit more as opposed to a small petite person might not be able to drink as much. Interview is just having a conversation with them. If their speech is slurred or they're, they sound intoxicated, probably they might be intoxicated. And then rate them. Like, are they able to have another drink? Maybe one more? Or no, this person should not drink anymore. Um, who should be notified if a guest has had too much to drink? A manager. What consequences? What are the consequences of serving a minor? Suspension, loss of job, and fine. All of the above. What are not 
uh, which are not the flavors of our margaritas. Okay, so Jamaican Cowboy Peach Roadie Hurricane, Raspberry Strawberry Hurricane, Pomegranate Pineapple, House, which is a lime flavored, Strawberry Banana, Coconut, and Razzlesnake. We do not have pineapple or pomegranate margaritas. All those other flavors we do offer. Three tequilas go into a legend margarita. So the answer to that one is going to be B. Patron Silver, uh, Patron Anejo, and Patron Reposado. What should always be asked when a guest orders a margarita? Um, an upsell option, the flavor, salt or sugar, and rocks or frozen. What should always be asked if a guest orders a bottled beer? Would you prefer draft? Would you like a frosted glass? Or will you have more than just one? The answer is B. Would you like a frosted glass? Anytime somebody orders a bottled beer, we want to ask if they would like a frozen glass with that. How many ounces is a Duke? 22 ounces. Which wines are not offered at Texas Roadhouse? We do not have a red blend Shiraz and a white blend. We do have Cab Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Pinot Noir. We do have White Zinfandel, Chardonnay, and Pinot Grigio. White wine is served blank and is best paired with blank. White wine is best served chilled and with white meat. Um, red wine is served blank and best paired with blank. Red wine is served room temperature and best paired with red meat. How can a bar drink be upsold? You can offer a premium liquor. So if somebody orders a rum and coke, you can ask if they would like Bacardi and coke. Um, if a guest orders a vodka tonic, what is an upshell option? The answer is going to be B, Tito's. If a guest orders rum and diet, what is an upsell option? Captain Morgan. If a guest orders gin and tonic, what are upsell options? Bombay Sapphire. If a guest orders whiskey and coke, what is not an upsell option? Bacardi, because Bacardi is rum. What is the maximum amount of liquor allowed in any Texas Roadhouse drink? Two ounces. Two ounces is sold with uh, is the max amount of alcohol that we can put in a drink. Straight up means a guest wants to order without blank. On the rocks means a guest wants to order their drink blank. So ice is the answer. Straight up means they want it without ice, and um, on the rocks means they want it with ice. What is tall? Tall is that it's served in a pint glass. So it's not that small, short rocks glass. It's in the pint glass. What ingredients are in our bulk rocks mix? Tequila, margarita sour, orange juice, and water. Guests may order two kickers with their margarita. No, they may only have one kicker with their margarita. What is a margarita kicker? It is a margarita enhancer. What can be done while waiting on bar drinks? Run food, get bread for the bar, check on tables, or D, all of the above. All of those things. What are the lemonade flavor options? Coconut raspberry peach, cherry lime mango, red raspberry blue crush and wild strawberry, or cherry lime wild strawberry and prickly pear. Prickly pear. The answer is C, red raspberry blue crush and wild strawberry. A guest can have an alcoholic free drink in any bar glass they choose. B, false. No, they are not. Um, just because we don't want to get it confused with an alcoholic beverage on accident. Alcoholic free drinks can be served in which glasses? The answer is B, a Coke glass or a kid's cup. What should be done if there are questions about garnish, about a garnish or a drink garnish? Um, you can ask the bartender. Um, you also might ask, the. I know it's a one point question, but you could also go ask a fellow server, but the answer is going to be B, or I'm sorry, D, the bartender. Which liquors are used in a strawberry daiquiri? 
The answer is going to be C. Cruzan strawberry rum and pinnacle whipping cream whip, whipped cream vodka. Which liquors are used in pina colada? The answer is A. Malibu and pinnacle whipping cream vodka. What kind of kickers do we offer? The answer is C. Patron 1800 and gold. Which is the correct liquors for Kenny's Cooler? The answer is C. Blue Chair uh, Coconut Rum and the Peach Tree Schnapps. What garnishes the red sangria and the sangria margaritas? D. A lemon wedge, an orange, and a cherry. How many pumps of flavoring go in lemonade tea for an adult and kids drink? The answer is going to be D. Two pumps for an adult and one pump for a kids drink. In what order do we put the ice flavor pump for the tea and lemonade? The answer is going to be A. First you put in the ice, then the lemonade or tea, and then the flavoring pump. An island kicker is an enhancer for a Kenny's Cooler. True. What ingredients are for an island kicker? Blue chair coconut rum and the peach tree schnapps. Hi, my name is Brian Labredo. Today we're going to make the Hurricane Margarita, which is our twist on the classic Hurricane cocktail mixed with the original margarita. Now we're going to make the 18-ounce Hurricane Margarita on the rocks. To do so, you're going to take two ounces of Minute Maid OJ, two ounces of Ocean Spray Pineapple Juice, one ounce of Finest Cold Grenadine, One ounce of Captain Morgan Spice Rum. Two ounces of the original Rocks Margarita. Flash blend and get ready to serve. Finish with the garnish. Orange half wheel. Cherry. A legendary turbo straw. Enjoy. Now we're going to make the 18 ounce hurricane margarita frozen. To do so, you need two ounces of Minute Maid OJ, two ounces of Ocean Spray Pineapple Juice, one ounce of Finest Cold Grenadine, one ounce of Captain Morgan Spice Rum, and then 11 ounces of the original margarita frozen. Now what I've done here is I've actually marked off the actual amount of a total frozen margarita, 17 ounces total with this black line. Kind of a good training tool. So let's go add to our glass. Now that we flash blend, pour back into the glass. Garnish with a cherry, orange wheel, and a legendary turbo straw. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Brian Labredo. I'm your beverage manager. Still the most popular cocktail in the U.S. is the margarita. That's right, the good old margarita. The legend about that fun cocktail it was started in 1936 by a bar owner in Mexico named Daniel Negrat. He actually created the drink for his brother David and his new sister-in-law, Margarita. The actual drink consisted of one part triple sec, one part tequila, one part lime juice, shaken, served over ice. Now, that actual drink recipe has grown to the legend of the margarita that we know today. Now, one of our goals here at Tex Roadhouse is that our margarita be just as memorable as that very first margarita back in 1936. Now, in order to do that, we need to focus on three things. Number one, we use agave nectar made from 100% blue agave. Number two, we have three blends of quality tequilas. Number three, we had just a hint of orange juice to smooth and balance out our flavors. Now it's up to you to go out there and make this margarita a local legend in your town. Now let's see what makes our margarita such a legend. 
We have our proprietary sweet and sour with over 32 special ingredients. Please shake it before using. Agave nectar, 100% blue agave. Many made orange juice. Juarez triple sec. Both Juarez gold tequila and Juarez silver. Last but not least, Margaritaville silver. Gotta love those parrot heads. All this makes a great margarita. But for me, I like to kick it up a notch. Hey now let's talk about what a margarita kicker is. It's actually a tube shot filled with premium tequila and triple sec. Add it to our already house margaritas that we know is gonna be a new town legend. You get it in three different versions. You can get it in gold, which is Margaritaville gold tequila and Quattro orange for only a dollar more. Or you can get it with 1800, also comes with Quattro orange for a dollar 50. But don't stop there. Make sure you offer your guests a Patron kicker. For $2 more, you get Patron silver and Patron citron added to our already house margarita. Let's execute one. Take my tube shot, take your premium triple sec, add it halfway through the tube, then take the premium tequila that matches, fill up the other half of the tube, then take your already legendary margarita, add the kicker to the margarita, and sell. Now the fun part about these margaritas is that we want our guests to be their own mixologist. And to do so, they can add a little bit of the kicker, or they can add a lot of the kicker. It's up to them. You enjoy. Now to wrap it up, or in this case, make last call. Three things we talked about. We got our recipe improvements with our three premium tequilas. We got our agave nectar and a hint of orange juice. Also all of our ingredients, which is sure to make us a legend in any town. And last but not least, our margarita kickers. Sure to kickstart any margarita and allow each guest to be their own mixologist. Now hopefully you'll remember all this and enjoy your margaritas. Most importantly, remember to serve responsible so that each of our guests come back time and time again and become a regular for Texas Roadhouse. It's Sangria Cocktail. To do so, you're gonna need your jiggers, mixing tin, full glass of ice, fresh cut fruit, we use lime wedges, orange wheels, cherry, turbo straws. Also for the ingredients, we're gonna use our house barefoot Merlot. I like using out of date, get an extra four days on it. It's a good money saver. Finest call, grenadine, a house brandy. Christian Brothers is a good brand to go to. Find us called Peace Puree, Juarez Triple Sec, Texas Roadhouse Sweet and Sour, and Minute Maid Orange Juice. So let's execute. Take three and a half ounces of your house red wines. Once again, Barefoot Merlot is the preferred choice. Two and a half ounces of Minute Maid OJ. Half ounce of Finest Call Cherry Grenadine. Half ounce of Finest Call Peach Puree. Half ounce of Christian Brothers Brandy, or any house brandy will do. Half ounce of Texas Red House Diluted Sweet and Sour. Half ounce of Juarez triple sack. Add a splash of Sprite. Let's go flash blend and pour. Garnish with a half orange wheel, a lime, cherry, and a legendary turbo straw. Enjoy. <laughs> 